In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to bypass the Google FRP lock on Android 8.1.0. First, you need to make sure you have a SIM card with a pin lock on it. If you don't, then pop a SIM card in a phone that you're able to use and go to the settings and add a pin lock code to your SIM card. If it asks you for a default pin code and you don't know it, you can call your carrier or network provider and ask them what your default pin code is for your SIM card. Next, go ahead and make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi network. And if you're not, just click start and connect to your Wi-Fi network. Once you're connected to a Wi-Fi network, go ahead and power off your phone. Next, pop in your SIM card with your pin lock code on it and power on the phone. Now it's asking you for your pin lock code. Go ahead and type in your code. Hit enter. Then swipe left on the notification. Hit this gear icon over here to bring up the settings. Click on more settings. And then click on Android setup. And then you're going to scroll down. You're going to click on browser app. You're going to click on opening links. Scroll all the way down to YouTube. Click on YouTube. Then you're going to click on the YouTube icon over here on top. Now click on app notifications. Go to additional settings in the app. Hit history and privacy. Click on YouTube terms of service. Click accept and continue on Chrome. Hit no thanks. Now you're on the browser, so on top go to this link. And also include this link in the description. Now click download on the quick shortcut maker. Hit continue. Allow. Hit OK. Hit open. Click on settings, allow from this source, go back, click on install, now click open. Now over here you're going to scroll down, to where Moto App Launcher is, click on Moto App Launcher, click on it again on top over here, now you're going to click try, and it's going to bring you to the launching screen. Now you're going to go back to Chrome. Now go to the second link. Now download this file. Hit OK. Hit Open. Click on Install. Now click Done. Now go to this other link. And download the FRP Bypass. Hit OK. Click open, click install, and click open. Now on top, you're going to click on the more settings or the three dots. Hit browser sign in. Now you're going to click on OK. Now over here, you're going to have to sign into one of your Google accounts or Google emails. So it adds that account to the phone. All right, now that it's signed in, go ahead and restart the phone. Hello, Moto. Type in your SIM code. And then you're at the home screen over here for the setup wizard. Hit start. Hit next. Set up as new. See now it says that email that you added before is added to the phone. Hit next. And you're pretty much done at this point. Just get skip all through the settings. And it's not asking you for your Google email password or anything. And you have the home screen. Now again, this is for Android 8.1.0, and this is a Moto Z3 I was using. I'm pretty sure it work on all the Motorola phones and possibly other model phones too. 
which are running on Android 8.1.0. Thanks again for watching guys. Hope this helped you bypass your FRP lock if you forgot your password for the email.